I've ever wanted to add a little bit of a different texture to the bottom of your 3D prints? Well, neither have I, but today we are going to be exploring just that by adding some different film options to our build plates that we can then print on and it should hopefully transfer those patterns onto the bottom of our 3D prints. Over the past year or so, I've seen a bunch of different people attempting this and I honestly am not sure what materials they're using. I probably should have done some more research on this. But on hand, I have some of this carbon fiber vinyl wrap that's basically just a really large sticker that you could, in theory, we're gonna be trying to applying this to your build plate surface so that we can print directly on it and see if the carbon fiber pattern transfers onto it. And if it works well, I'm gonna order up some other materials to further test this out. This could be a really cool way to help differentiate some of the things that you're printing, potentially selling, or just printing for yourself. And for this little experiment, I'm gonna be using the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. And what's nice about this is the actual removable build plate surface here has two different surface options for you. One is completely smooth, and then this other is textured. So when it comes to applying this vinyl sticker, I'm gonna be applying it directly to the smooth side of this build plate here, which more than likely, if you have an FDM 3D printer, most new 3D printers come with this same type of build plate surface. So you should be in luck if you wanted to try this yourself. And all I'm doing is I've turned the paper over so that I can just trace out the build plate shape so that I can cut it out with an X-Acto knife here or just a pair of scissors and then we can peel it and get it adhered to our build plate surface. I, I'm just trying my best not to get air bubbles in here. So I'm just gonna, I should have a card here. I, don't do what I'm doing. I'm doing this entirely wrong. <laughs> and a Costco card for the win. And within like a minute or less, you can now have your own carbon fiber wrapped build plate surface here that you should, fingers crossed, be able to 3D print on. So let's fire up a print and test this out. All right, this was a quick 10 minute test print of uh, printing my logo here and it worked great. I did bump down the temperature. I didn't want it to fuse with the material there. I was a little bit nervous about that. So I might do another test at the normal temperature. I typically print around 220, 215. So I bumped it down to, I think 205 and it still printed great for the most part here. I mean, it just looked fantastic. And most importantly there, the texture transferred over to the bottom of this print. So now I have a much larger print that I'm gonna run overnight. And then I'm also gonna run off and order some more materials that we can test out and see how it lays down so that we can get some different effects for our prints. So our first set of prints have completed and I have to say the results are looking really great with this carbon fiber vinyl wrap material for this John Wick bust by Eastman here. This took 11 hours and I think 40 minutes to print the upper part and the base itself was I think a three hour print. Now for the base, just as a comparison, I ended up printing it on the standard build plate surface just so you could see the difference between the two using the exact same 3D printer with the same build surface. Uh, just obviously one side has that texture applied to it and the other is the typical build plate surface that you're working with on these Elevoo machines. One thing to note, you'll definitely wanna let the build plate completely cool before removing your print. I Mine was still a little bit warm when I initially tried to remove the John Wick bust and it started to lift this vinyl material. So it's not super adhered to this build plate surface. So you more than likely will be able to get a handful of prints on this before potentially needing to replace it, but it should be easy enough and you should be able to get a whole bunch of use cases out of these with those strips. And speaking of those vinyl strips, my Amazon order just arrived so I can now get these unwrapped and placed on the build plate surfaces and get some more test prints going to see how these work and can add some more variations to our build surface printing. And while I'm getting some of these prints up and running, I wanted to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They're the makers of the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, which I'm primarily using for today's video, but they also make a bunch of other amazing FDM 3D printers, as well as some really great resin 3D printers. The Mars 3 is one of my absolute favorites that you can find listed down below. I'm also using some of their PLA for some of the prints in today's video. So if you're interested in finding more information about that, again, you can find links to those down below. I want to say a big thank you to Elgoo again for sponsoring today's video. Well, that was fun. I ended up losing power here in the studio, so I had to bring my printers back home to continue on with this project. So let's take a look at the first set of test results using this Chrome hexagon vinyl sheet. And unfortunately, 
nothing transferred over. There's a little hint of a hexagon pattern on the back, and I think nothing transferred over because this is just a print on top of a smooth sheet of vinyl wrap. Unlike the carbon fiber, which has a little bit of a 3D texture to it, which I believe helped imprint it on the back of that particular print. I was really hoping this sort of shimmer rainbow effect and hexagon patterns would really transfer over, but it just did not. So this option here that I ordered off of Amazon is definitely no good. Also, the good news is these are really easy to just peel off and replace. So the next one I tried out was another carbon fiber wrap. However, it was a color shifting option that went from like a blue to a purple. And again, this just did not transfer over properly to the back of this print. I believe, again, it's not 3D textured. It's just a print on top of this vinyl wrap. So, so far, this has been kind of a bust with these other options that I've ordered off of Amazon. Also, one thing to note here with the back of this particular print, you can actually see where I did not cleanly lay down the vinyl wrap onto the bed and there's air bubbles that I printed on top of and there's little divots and pockets on the back of this print so keep that in mind when laying these down to use again like a back of a card or something like that as best you can to get it as smooth as possible so that you don't have any imperfections on your print surface. Now the last one that I ordered and we're going to be testing out is this crazy geometric shape option that I have really high hopes hopes for that it will hopefully transfer over because this was easily the coolest looking one out of all of them and it does have a little bit of a texture to the build plate surface. And sure enough, it worked. It's not as prominent and detailed as the carbon fiber was on our original print. And you can definitely see all those crazy geometric shapes when shifting it there in the light. And it also helps that this filament has its own crazy color shifting capabilities. This is Cookie Cad's Witchcraft PLA and it might be one of my favorite colors of filament that's out there. The stuff is just it looks amazing when it's printed. So unfortunately, two of the four options just did not work out well, but the other two worked out fairly well. Easily the best of them is this 3D carbon fiber wrap here, and then this geometric pattern shape worked fairly well. I'm gonna try running some more different colored filaments on this print options just to see what it might look like. And one other thing just to reiterate, I definitely am seeing some pulling and stretching of the vinyl wrap material here with some of the prints. So I'm not quite sure of the longevity of this, but it's definitely something fun and easy and cheap way for you to add a little bit of texture detail to some of your 3D prints and help differentiate some of the things that you're printing and selling or just things for your own collection. As I did some Googling last night, there are build plates that you can actually order that looks like this is maybe ingrained into the build plate options for some of your different 3D printers that you might be looking to work with. I'll have links to those down below if you're interested in ordering those and will hopefully last a little bit longer and potentially even work better than just the vinyl sheets. However, in a pinch, you might even be able to find these over at your arts and crafts store or something like Walmart. Uh, in their automotive section. I also want to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here and sharing it on the interwebs. If you're interested in things like my FDM or resin 3D printer settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. And let me know what your thoughts are on being able to add some textured, detailed spiciness to the backside of some of your 3D prints. And if you have any other printing options that'll help you achieve this same end results here, let me know. I'm all ears and would love to test out some more of these and see what other options might be out there and available. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Also a quick note here, the backside of this solid, I don't know what color this is, sort of off green, mint green color PLA. That texture, their geometric shape came out really well compared to the more translucent looking filament here of this witchcraft PLA.